today we're going to be talking about a fun little modification we did. Um, that is the DSG shift knob adapter. I went from my stock shift knob to the facelift knob because it was cheap and quite honestly it looks a lot better than the stock one, the stock pre-facelift one. Uh, after a while I decided I wanted something a little bit different, I wanted to add a little bit more color to the interior of the car. So I ended up getting a likewise shift knob, uh, purple, scissor as they call it, um, to add more purple to the interior of the car. Uh, like I said before, not going overboard, just a few simple little accents here and there. But the problem is the readily available adapters for these cars come with an oddball shift pattern on them. Uh, they also come with a shift knob that is pretty ugly and you know so I bought the adapter found out that the threads are way off you can't buy an adapter to just use a regular shift knob on it so we went and modified it so I'm gonna go through that and show you what we did so for comparison's sake here we have the stock facelift style shift knob which is a lot better than the pre facelift one I can't find my stock one to show you but it's pretty ugly a lot of people do the S-Tronic one, which is okay, but my car technically isn't even a DSG. It's a Tiptronic. I didn't want to use an S-Tronic knob in there, something that the car doesn't have, isn't. I didn't mind having to twist the, the lever for the button, because on the S-Tronic's at the front, that's not a big deal. So here we have the adapter that I purchased after it's already been modified. My welds suck, I'm not a good welder. Did this to another one, which my old coworker did that's in my girlfriend's car now. But all we did is just weld this on to the end to change the threads from this thread right here that is not adaptable to anything else to a pattern that is adaptable to many other shift knobs. This adapter comes with a knob that looks like this or like this they have a few other options but I don't like the look of these I think they look cheap and chintzy and it's not really a, a good shift knob in my opinion so all we did is I found a bolt for my old mark 4 and the end of this fit perfectly inside of this so I was able to just set it in there and weld it in. And then with my likewise knob, came with the thread adapter and the shift knob itself. So now it can just thread on. Like I said, this is the second one I did. Uh, first one I didn't modify, so I have to trim down the end. So this piece will come down a little bit further over this screw here. So I'm gonna go into the car now and install it and show you what it looks like. So after the stock shift knobs removed, you'll be left with something like this. I'm not gonna go into great detail on doing this because there is an install video from the company on how to do this. Uh, you can ignore all my mess. Like I said previously, the car is apart, a lot of stuff getting added stuff getting changed on it so it is not the prettiest of interiors right now but I'm gonna go ahead and install this and show you what it looks like pretty much installed I have to trim the end piece like I told you before so that knob sits down a little bit further but beyond that I'll give you a good a good idea of what it looks like installed <music> installed the final height of it is going to be adjusted a little bit like I said and you just lift up to shift this has to get readjusted a little bit more that is essentially the final product I'm not finalizing it right now because I do have to take it back off to adjust a few things but this is what we're left with with the custom DSG in my case Tiptronic shift knob adapter One skip, one 
You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.